Okay, here we are doing the Boho Project Recipe. Um, for this class, you're going to need four sheets of paper. Your instructions say two designer and two tone on tone or solid. Here's a rookie mistake I made. You actually want one solid um, and three other printed papers. Um, one of the tone on tones, you want to like both sides. Uh, both sides are going to be visible so and they're going to be adjacent to each other so take a look at your papers and decide this is from the boho tone on tone do you like this on this and just flip through your papers and see which ones you like that you know give you some good contrast I'm kind of digging that one um, that'll be um, That'll be the first one that we cut. We're going to pick a two-sided paper that gives you a lot of contract, and that, that'll be the first paper that we cut, contrast. Okay, so if I pick my contrast paper, the one that we cut, that's not... I'm going to put that to the side. I need two sheets for my base. I'm going to make the solid, the solid sheet one of my bases, and I'm going to pick another one of the designer prints. Again, both of these are from the Boho uh, Tone on Tone. This piece is from the Boho Designer. I know some of you have Boho Designer, some of you have Mosaic Stone. Um, it all coordinates. Um, so I'm using the dark green for my solid. And for my other base, I'm going to use this subtle, it looks reddish, pinkish. Uh, stripe for my other base okay so since I'm not cutting these these are going off to the side all right again I told you the first one that we were cutting was going to be the one with the contrast double-sided okay our first cuts are going to be with the border punch um, you can use any border punch my you can use the border maker um, I'm going to use the Mandala Border Punch. It's flat on one side and has the design. Um, that's what I chose. You can choose any. You can choose a border maker. You can choose anything. So here's the thing about these border punches. It gives you a clue about where to start by that little line. So you want to stick your paper in there. Make sure it's flat up against this tray and do your first punch. Then you scoot your paper up, keep it flat against the back, and line up the cut part over top of the blue printing on the tray. And then you punch. Scoot, line up, punch. You'll make five punches in the side. Oh, I got a little snurred there, don't worry. I will. Uh, Cut that off. We're going to make five punches with the mandala. And there we go. I like throwing away the trash each time. I don't know. That's just me. So now we have to cut my you cut the paper because we need to do another border. This is busy paper, so it's kind of hard to see on the trimmer. But you want to keep your border so it's less than an inch and a half, maybe an inch and a quarter is what I'm going to do. So the tip of my border is not going past the inch and a quarter line. Kind of making sure it's lined up both ways, and then I'm gonna. Cut. All right, so I've got a nice border. I'm going to use my pointy scissors and if I can get the cover off, I'm going to use my pointy scissors and cut off the little snurt on the end. And now I've got my border. I'm going to cut another one, punch another one. Here we go. 
put it in the line. Some of you are probably faster at this than I am. I don't know. I just, it's just really important to line up on the blue guide. Right there, move, move, move. There we go. Okay. Got my second border done. All right. Again with the snurd. I must not be really careful about loading the paper in. All right. Now I need my trimmer to cut it at an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter is there. There. All right, got my two borders. I'm gonna put them to the side for the moment. And I need to cut this paper. I need it to be eight and a half inches wide. Right now it's probably about nine and a half. But just to be sure, I'm gonna extend the arm, put it out to eight and a half. There's my nine, there's my eight and a half. I'll scooch it into there. Sorry for the squeakiness. Now I've got my eight and a half. Next, I'm gonna turn it the other way and cut it in half by going to six. So I've got two mats that are six by eight and a half. All right, so my first page is cut. I'm gonna get my second page that I'm cutting. And this is just two simple cuts. We're gonna to go to five and a half. Now the five and a half line is right, if you can see that, it's right there on the edge of the white on the trimmer. Five and a half. Five and a half again. And then my last piece, I'm gonna cut in half, turn it like a hot dog, put it on the six, so I get two equal pieces. All right, that's almost all the cutting. We have to do one more thing. We have to cut our borders in half. So you can eyeball it if you're free like that. <laughs> And you can say, well, this is the middle one, so the half is gonna be right down there. Or you can actually measure. This is a 12 inch border, so we put it on the six. And cuts just fine, like that. Do it again, put the other border on the six. Cuts just fine. All right, now we are officially done with the cutting and it's time to assemble our pages. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. It's, I don't have an audience with me that I can see that they're freaking out or not. So um, you can pause hopefully if this is too much for you. All right, um, so the base, we have two bases. They're gonna be assembled sort of identically um, well, they can be assembled however you like. Um, so let's say I have my left and right like this. This is a little, it's a little close up. Maybe I'll just work on the green first. All right. Actually, we're going to try and lay it out. So I'm going to take my two big five and a half inch pieces and put them here flush up next to the edge. Now, I don't like to adhere anything until I kind of see how it all plays out. Next, I'm gonna take my two matted pieces and my two larger mats, and I'm gonna put them here. 
in here like so, kind of adjacent, or you can leave a little space, whatever works for you. All right, let me scoot a little bit over. Actually, I'm not crazy here. I'm trying to give us a little bit more height on this. Maybe that will work. Um, okay, 